Our olive peric dollar. Our olive peric dollar. Uh -huh. Our olive peric dollar. <laughs> Your job is to watch this thing. Here we go. <laughs> At the Hago, so where the, the print becomes fine print. And we're, and we're entering into um, an even more sophisticated uh, um, level here of understanding. But, Possible. But yeah, so uh, in, until now we said this, let me just uh, refresh your memory, um, already quite a big finish, and that is that there are, um, to put it in my words, and to put it succinctly, Hashem created the world, a man, um, he created a circle, and everybody knows that I call Bidei Shemayim, everything comes from the Shemayim. What we don't know is what's going on in the Shemayim. We don't really understand the Shemayim very well. How could we know what's in the Shemayim? We're not privy to, to that information, really. We have little pieces if you really want to get into it and say for Yechaskel about the Merkava. But we don't really know what's going on in the Shemayim, right? But what we do know is, you know, scientists uh, can tell us what's going on in the in the Oret. So Shemayim, Shemayim, La Shem, Oret, Nasan, Nayadam. Comes the Nefesh he tells us that there is a circle here. There is not a disconnect between the Shemayim and the Aretz. And the circle works. Um, the four points on the circle that we need to understand for our purposes is that um, we're in a circle that we start, circle to circle. To circle. But um, there, is, there is, let's start with, with us. There is a person. Here's our points. There is a Beis Hamikdash. There is a Beis Hamikdash Shemala. And then there is Hashem and the rest of the Shemayim. And those are four points which are connected with this circle. And you can, um, like every circuit, you can short circuit it anywhere you, you want or don't want, and that will ruin the circle. So um, if Chas V'Shalom HaKadosh Baruch decides to cut the wire over here, so that there's no person, there's no Beis HaMikdash, there's no... But the Kiddush is that we can also short circuit, God forbid, in this world. And, and, the, and the circle can be broken here. So um, the, if, if, for instance, let's take the obvious example, if there's a carbon based Hamikdash, so there's a carbon based Hamikdash, we're losing a whole connector there to the uh, Shemayim. The Beis Hamikdash is, the, is a connector. That's, that's an important connector, like a switch. That takes us from Oretz to Shemayim. That's how things go up. And then everything starts going nicely. Um, the same thing is a connector of the Adam. So a person, um, the, the Adam, and the, and the Adam, he alluded to the fact, we want to get more into it, up uh, to the detail, but uh, Adam is connected to the Beis HaMikdash. So it's, it's um, you know, there's a little Beis HaMikdash inside of us. Here's, here's the big uh, words. Gadol Misa Sadikim. Kisrefas base mikdashenu. Tzaddik dies, it's like the base of mikdash was destroyed. Why? Because the tzaddik within him holds an entire base of mikdash. Uh, actually, like the lave is the, is the holy of holies, Kodesh HaKadosh. The kidneys are something else, the brain is something else. These are all different parts of the base of mikdash. So, Dola Misa Sadikim, even bigger. Misrefas base elikenu than the than the carbon base amikdash. So what what we're talking about, what Chazal are addressing there, is another one of the um, points. I wish I had the tech, technology vocabulary to understand how a, a, a circuit works. You could help me. But but um, here here's a point. Here's a point. Here's a point. What we learned is that what we're thinking in our lave. Here's working. The circle goes the other way. What's working in our life, even, um, you know, let's say we, we lust in our hearts, or we worship our Hodazara in our hearts. So what's happening there is that goes straight up the circle, that Avodazara goes straight up the circle to, as we learned to the Zayar, to the Moya Hashem, to the, to the mind of Hashem, whatever that means, goes straight to his Beis HaMikdash, which is that which beams all Koach into this world, and you will get a carbon based hamikdash. If there's a pirud levav of sinas chinam, let's say, the example that we all know, the carbon based hamikdash was where? What was the short? The short was giloy arayas, shvichas damim, avodazara, cardinal issues. That short circuited it. 
And by the time that that <coughs> circle reached, by the time that energy reached the base of it, Shabbata, the base of it, Shabbata, the Yerushalayim, even though it was right next door to uh, where we started, but that's not the way it went. It didn't go like this. It didn't take the shortcut. It went all the way around the circle. By the time we reached here and the Buchanetzer came into the uh, base of Mikdash, the Nevesh uh, Chaim quotes, these are all Zoyars, that Kim uh, Chotochan <coughs> uh, it, it, was already, it was already a straw house. He, he was, it was already destroyed from this way. So when he came in, there was nothing to do. It was a pushover. It was, it was a kick out. If you, if you look, by the way, at the... Um, at the uh, the description of the Chorba Beis Hamikdash in, in, um, in Tanakh, in the Buchanetzer. So um, he, he was very disappointed. <laughs> he was very disappointed that when he came into the Beis Hamikdash, it was so easy um, to to knock down the Beis Hamikdash. He thought that this would be like a fight with God. It was going to be like going to be. It's going to be. This is going to. Be, because that way it would show his strength that he was. He was like these people, the Buchanetzer, Paro. You know, they consider themselves gods, and, and I'm stronger than the base of Mikdash. So if I'm stronger than the base of Mikdash, so uh, put up a fight. So you know, a guy wants to show what what a gibor is, and you put him in the ring with uh, you know with a 90 pound weak class. Weak like this. What, what did you show? It's embarrassing to. What do you give me? Give me a, give me somebody. You know. So, but this this was all. Um, and, and then the circle works the other way around because by the Harbin by Shani, so many generations later, so um, we're told that uh, Titus, he was the Buchanetzer, was the butcher of the first base of Igdush, and, and Titus was the butcher of the second base of Igdush, and at the time of Titus, he came and he brought a Zoyna into the Kodesh It's like, you know, whoa. Is that, is that what destroyed the base of Igdush? No, because if there would have been a base of English, he wouldn't have been able to do that. What, what the simon of him being able, get this deep point, the, the, the simon of him being able to bring a zona, why did he do that? He had plenty of zonas in plenty of places. What, what, what was the idea of bringing a zona into the base Kodesh HaKadoshim? This was an energy that came because we brought uh, zona into the base Kodesh HaKadoshim, <coughs> which, which the Zayar says somehow, we haven't yet figured out, is Nakama. The, the somehow kina rather yeah. somehow the kina that we have I, I guess that um, you know a, a person you, you know the, the idea of zudus is I'm not happy with what I have like it's a gather of mishiach like bana ratz of asai you find it the gibar el azar ben durdai eloi he diach zoyna you know like must get better must get better must get better, must be something better you know um, until like he did like that's it he ran out of zaynas you know but uh, the, the 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 idea is that that there's a certain uh, kina like i don't have enough i want more i want more Look at, you see this by the way you see people that are like so kulo olabhaza we're all a little bit olabhaza you see people are like kulo olabhaza like they, they 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 can't get the satisfaction they're kind of looking for more, more, more. maybe here maybe there maybe if i travel to uh, you know to tahiti you know like, like there's no there's no but but what the point leadalenu is that titus zaina um in in the base kodesh akadashim was that there wasn't garum anything it started earlier in the circle with the with the kodesh akadashim which is in the lave and the Kodesh HaKadoshim, which is in the lave, evaporated to the Shabbayim, and here's how it looks. Here's how it looks, right, that's your result. So, so this was a result, this wasn't the Gaurav, this was the result. So, you know, you see something crazy going on in the, in the, in the world of Kedusha, it's, that's not causing anything. That's, that's, that's not causing anything, that is the result of something. And there's something, and there's something, there's something very, very wrong with us, and it's probably balev. If you see the, like, there's different parts of the body. So there's, and, and the code, the lave is the part which corresponds to the kodesh kedosh. There's a very sophisticated switchboard here, keyboard here. So it's specifically, the lave is going to cause a problem into the lave. I saw the Barel Prague says, you know, that famous story that um, time of the Shady, Temple Second Temple Syndrome. Um, one Kohen went up to the, uh, ran up to the. Uh, to the camp, to the Mizbeach to do the to bring the carbon. Another coin was standing there and said, "Hey, you know, I'm supposed to be doing the Avodah now. Now, what are you doing to the Avodah? You see this in Shul a lot when it comes to going to the uh, to the uh, yeah, That's what. What are you doing up there? He pulled out a knife and he stabbed him, killed him. Uh, now, um, it's hard. It's so it's so hard to 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 understand. Like, you know, you're the base of Mikdash. You're doing Avodah. It's Avodah Hashem. You know." 
It's okay. Uh, you know, you get carried. You know, like a couple of nights ago here in Beit Shemesh, you know, there was like a stabbing. One person stabbed another person. They thought Arabs. They thought terrorists. No, what Jews stabbed the Jew. And, uh, and I was standing there. Stabs the dead You know, uh, it, 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 was, it was just. It, and, and when I, I'm walking, I'm walking away, and I was saying, like, how does one Jew stab each other too? Like, I, I, like I just don't even get. Like, I don't understand. You know, I mean, you know, seventeen-year-old, like, like, how does this happen? And and okay, it happens. It happens. Bad. You know, you know, you can blame it on the, you know, on the schools. You know, it probably got thrown out of some yeshiva. But you know, we, can, we can make all kinds of drushes about this. But <laughs> here, there, there is a deeper part to it. And the deeper part is that there, there is a, um, a societal uh, lack of norm, which we're not stabbing anybody, but, you know, if, if we have to guess, there's some place in the lave which is a problem. Some place in the lave which is a problem. I keep saying this, nobody listens to me, that, you know, if there's a lot of people getting stabbed, God forbid, in the, in the, in the back in your shalai, so maybe we should stop backstabbing so much. Like, there, there, is a, there is this even on a higher level. So I don't know, I'm just making a guess, but the circle, the point I want to make is that there is a circle. So when you see such a thing happen, you don't just look here, you don't look parallel at the schools, at the, at the, at the, at the, at the rabbis, at the chinos, at the dysfunctional family. There's something wrong with the whole thing. So when one Kohen stabs another Kohen and kills him, this was an energy that came from Shabbai and something wrong. Now it doesn't make them innocent, but, but it, it, it helps explain that there's, some, there's depth to this. This is not just play. So that's really what we learned. Those four points on the, on the circle is what we learned until now. What, what's, there to, we're, what's, what's there to learn more over here? What's to learn more is this Haggah, which um, it's interesting. Just to, from, from last night to this morning, I, I, I mentioned this Haggah. I was talking to a, a few different Talmud. I went to visit somebody in Telstow last night, question with people. And, and um, I said what it said in this Haggah. They said, no, that's not what it says. Everybody knew that. But it is what it says. What it says, what it says, it's interesting, like, you know, like we take what we know and we put it into the words and we read it quickly. Let the words speak to you a little bit. What it says here in this Haggah. He's what, going himself? What? This is the son or this is, this is Rukhaim? This is Rukhaim. Okay. No, only in the, um, it's only, this was this Rukhaim. Let's just do a couple of lines here. You have the Haggah? And mine is page class. I don't know if you have this one. Ki ha-mishkan ha-mikdash Mishkan and the Mikdash, Mishkan and then later on the Beis HaMikdash. Hayikolim kol ha-kochos v'ha-olamas. The Beis HaMikdash itself had kol ha-kochos v'ha-olamas. What are olamas? <coughs> the world's, we know this olam, this is one olam. But we know about olam haba. There are many. There are many worlds. Infinite, maybe. Um, don't, I don't, uh, we don't, we don't have much understanding of I mean, we know maybe there's such a thing as Olam Haba. Nobody knows what it is. I mean, exactly, uh, you know, we imagine. But when, when we're talking about Olam Oso Yonah, we're talking about an extremely uh, intricate system of, of, of worlds in, 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 that's going on in the Shemayi. I don't know if it's important for us to even know, but, uh, it's, it's, but we should know uh, that, that there are... Um, in Shabayim there are Partsufim, and in Shamayim there are um, Sitras, and there are all kinds of very complicated things. It's not just so simple as Olam Haba. In fact, Olam Haba is probably a bit of an erroneous term because it's Olam, this is Olam Haba sounds like it's later, you know, maybe later for us, but it's going on right now. So there, there's the Olam Ha'elyon, let's be more precise. There's the Olam Ha'elyon. What's going on in the Olam Ha'elyon? I don't know. You know, you know, I don't know. What's going on in the Olam Ha'elyon? But in the Beis Hamikdash, get this: Lulim or Kolim Kol Hakoychos, anything which gives energy into this world, Veho Elamis, it's all there. V'chol Hasidrei Kedushos Kulam. These are Kabbalistic words. Sidrei Kedushos. There are seven Sidrei Kedusha in the Shabbat. I just know the words. There are seven Sidrei Kedusha, all there in the Beis Hamikdash. Kol batav v'gin zavav, the truth is gin zachav, gin zachav. All the hidden antechambers of the shemayim, all of the different batim in the shemayim, chadu aliosa of the attics in shemayim, v'chadarav in the rooms, v'chol kliyakodesh, 
Kulam Hayu Bedut Melyad. All of these, like you say, okay, like in the base Hamikdash, you know there was a basement. Did you know that? There was a basement. That's where they used to hang the cows and, and all kinds of things. It was going on in the in the basement of the base Hamikdash. It's a basement. They used to go down, a, the, open up a hole, and there was like a whole zach going on there in the in the uh, in the basement. Total mishnayis about it. There's a basement in Shemayim too. <laughs> there's, there's a basement in Shemayim where they hang the cows. There's, there's everything that you have here from the, the makam of the Kodesh HaKadoshim in the Beis HaMikdash, you have there. So before we even get into why, I mean, to me, this is, as I mentioned this to a couple of people, like, it's, this is an astounding Kiddush. That, that it's not it's not like we just said a minute ago it's not only like we just said that somehow or another this is the, this is the um, the communication line this is the switchboard this is the place that gets to affect the Shemayim and everybody knows how cold we did Shemayim what affects the Shemayim is going to affect us no <laughs> much more much more complicated than that the Beisamikta Shabato and the Mishkan Shabato was a microcosm of the entire Shemayim. Do, do you know, like, um, a, a mirror site, is that the right word? Anyway. <laughs> like, like, this is a, a mirror site. You know, I'm, th I'm thinking if, um, do you ever see, I just happen to see what that's what I'm thinking about, but uh, you ever see uh, somebody had on his iPhone, uh, he, has, he has a burglar alarm system in his whole house, <clears throat> and the whole house is guarded. So he's got a picture of his house, you know, not the, the lines of the house, maybe more sophisticated would be, you know, the pieces of the, you know, the furniture to color the house, but this one's just lines of the house, I'm sure everybody's seen it. And if there's a pirza, like somebody opens a window in the attic, beep, little green light over here. <laughs> little, so this, this, is, this has to be, if you're missing a whole piece on your diagram, on, on, your, on your phone, that means there's a whole piece of it that's not being represented. So this becomes a, a map of that. What's important here is, is a map of that. If you're missing a piece here, then there's something you don't know about there. Or there's something that's not being replicated on your computer or on your phone. What's me on this? Just don't think voodoo dolls. Think burglar alarms. <laughs> like it, it's, it's, it's just um, a mapping system. The, the, the base of Mikdash now becomes a mapping system for everything that's going on in the Shemayim. You, you, you can have, you, it's like you, you could do um, you know, virtual thing. You could do, you could do a, um, uh, you know, an operation on somebody, all from, you know, you could do like brain surgery these days without, you know, getting too close to the brain. You're just doing it all over here. Maybe you have to do it, but you're seeing everything here. What, you, what's, what you're seeing on the screen is not real. But it has to be an exact, exact replica of what's going on there. So when we're talking about the base of Mikdash, we're talking about an exact replica. I, I wish I could come up with the exact muscle, but the exact muscle is the base of Mikdash. That, that, that the base of Mikdash is a, um, is, a, is a map of every single thing that's going on in the Shemayim. Kol hai lam is kulam. Nothing is missing. It's a physical yeah. map? Hmm? It's a physical map? Yeah. Like, yeah, physical. A microcosm. Right, I know those words. I just don't know if they could, if they correctly describe what I'm saying. But a physical map, meaning the, the, the Kodesh Hakadoshim, represents one thing that's going on in Shabbai. The the um, like there's a base of Mikdash in Shabbai. When we talk about the base of Mikdash Shabala, and this, by the way, is going to help us understand something that I understand on Thursday when we learn that that um, the base of Mikdash Shabala we learned to the Zayar. Do you recall? Is giving the energy goes from the Boa Hashem to the base of Mikdash Shabbat. Remember, remember? So the base of Mikdash Shabbat. So we are, we're imagining that, um, we're, or at least I was imagining that there's like this whole Shemayim, and then if you happen to be in Shemayim, you turn on ways and say, "Take me to the hotel," <laughs> and it takes you to the base of Mikdash Shabbat, which is Mechuban. Can I get the base of Mikdash Shabbat? No, the whole thing is the base of Mikdash Shabbat. The whole thing, all the Elamos are the base of Mikdash Shabbat. See the difference? There is no difference. That's what the Zayar said. It's not that the, in Shabbayim there's also a base of Mikdash Shabbat, the Yerushalayim Shabbat. The whole thing. <laughs> because, um, and, and it's vast, it's infinite. Here it's finite. So, so what you have here in this world is a finite map, or a dumba, a model, a microcosm, whatever word you want to look, a, a mirror 
Um, every single thing that's going in, in the, on in the Beis HaMikdash Shomala, which is every single thing which is going on in the Shomayim. Nothing less. The whole Shomayim is there in your Shomayim. On one hand, we understand that we affect the Shomayim sort of by what we're doing here. On the other we're saying it's a mirror side of what's going on there. So it's, it's, it's a completely different idea. Right? So Not so completely different, but a completely more so advanced idea. Going, then? Seems like it goes both ways. So that's, that's, a, that's a circle. That's a circle, a circle can go ways. either way. The words of the um, words of the Navim is Ratsui Vishav. Ratsui Vishav. Malachim are Ratsui Vishav. Malachi Elikim Oilum Viyarjim Bai. Yaakov Avinu had a glimpse of this in his Navur. Sulam. Make like Bakum Amikdash here, climbed up to Sulam Wal. Umalachi Elikim Oilam Viyarjimai. This is the connectivity that exists. Connectivity that's already last week's Torah. Here we're talking about something more. It's not just connectivity, it's exact um, replica one of the of the other. That's the words here, which Kiamikdash. Let's just make sure. So our heart, our heart Kiam, is the same thing then. Heart is Kodesh Kadosh. Oh, we'll get to the people in a okay. second. Yeah, Mishkan v'hamikdash. So far, we're talking about how you call him Kol Hakoychos v'Hoi Lamais, b'Chol Sidrei Kedusha is Kulam, Kol Bata Vigna Zachav Ali Yosef v'Chadara v'Chol Klia Kodesh. The physical things are Chaim in this space. Hamikdash Kulam Hayu b'Tugma El Yoyna Tzelim Dmos Tavnis Olamais Kedoshim Sidrei Perke Hamirkava Hema Yisadam Davru Shmuel Haroya Kol Miad Hashem Aleim. He's called Kol Malachos HaTavnis, the Tavnis, uh, the, 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 the real revelation that took place on Har Sinai was a glimpse at the workings of the technology of the entire vast Shemayim. That's what really, and, and, and how do I know this? Because um, when it came to building the Mishkan, so Betzalo was a, uh, you know, uh, Genius artisan, and, uh, and, and Moshe Rabbeinu was was Moshe Rabbeinu. So, uh, but it, at the end, Kol Asher Ani Mara Oischa Bahar, build that which I am showing you, Bahar, on Har Sinai. That which I showed you on Har Sinai, build Kaze uh, Dugma Shalmala Lamato. So. Um, the Zayar, I want to learn in time with you, but the Zayar says, Kol asher ani hera oischa bahar likesi. Not that which I showed you on the mountain. Kol asher ani mara oischa, what does that mean? Huh? Like Lash and Hova. The Zayar says, think mara Lash and mirror. A mare. <coughs> it's a mirror site. I mirrored. I mirrored everything that's in the Shemayim to you in the in the, at the on the har. Probably connected mirror mare. Connected connected words. Call us here. It's a mirror. You have the exact same thing, but it's not it. You know. In other words, you touch the mirror. You poke somebody in the uh, eye in the mirror. Doesn't hurt. Isn't Shabbat infinite though? So how could it be? So that's what Simpson means. Stamakash. That's 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 where the sugya of Simpson comes in. How Avodah Baruch Hu was able to take um, infinite and put it into a tzura of finite. Um, so if it wasn't for the Cheta Ego, we wouldn't have we wouldn't have no, any need for that. Would have been just our hearts that would have made them a big, big dash. The world itself. The world itself. See, let me let me tell you something. I don't mean to be. Um, you know, I just want to make the point. I don't mean to be uh, arrogant in any way. But I, I was saying this to somebody last night. So he said it's a mafurish. Um, very close to the verse. So it's a mafurish of Edrish Tanchuma at the beginning of Pikud Day. That, that this uh, mirror takes place. 
So I looked. No. Um, here it says, and this is, and I, and I point this out not to show that, somebody, that he's making a mistake, but I'm just saying here's where the confusion, where they were, we're, we're intellectually skipping a piece. Here it says, Shakal beis hamikdash elah pekude hamishka. Not the mishka. Shakal keneged brias oilam. That the beis hamikdash is a replica of the a microcosm. Let's use that word, okay? A microcosm of the whole creation of the world. Berisha yuksiv brishes bar lekivas hashemayvas aritz yuksiv noit hashemayim kayiria. That. Um, David HaMelech explained that when Hashem made the world, he painted this great roof over our heads called the Shemaim. So you look up, beautiful blue sky, right? That's Noite Shemaim Kiria, Uba Mishkan Vasisa Yirios Iza. We had um, Yirios in the Mishkan. So the Yirios, just like Hashem made a Bayavdel Bain Shemaim Varetz, he made a Yiria. So, so too, we should make a urea. Yom HaSheni, Vasheni, Yehirakia, Vohemer ben Havdolo, Shinamri, Mavdol ben Mayim, Lomoyim, Vemishkan, Sivi, Dila, Parochas, Lochem. You have a Parochas, which is the Havdolo also separating. Shlishik, Siv, Mayim, Mikavu, Amayim, Mishkan, Siv, Asisaki, Ar Nechoshes, Shem made water. We have that that bria, you know, when you look at the kiyar, that the that beautiful fountain in the in the um, in the base of Migdash, that represents the Atlantic Ocean. And if it has seven spouts, it represents the seven seas. The seder is beautiful, but this is not what we're talking about here. Here we're talking about this whole medrash. I can read through the whole thing. The whole medrash is saying one simple thing: that there was a microcosm in the base of Migdash of what? Creation. Of creation. <laughs> Here, <coughs> Rukhai Velozhin is saying there's a microcosm not of creation, of pre creation, of, of Shemayim, of what's going on in the Shemayim, something we don't even, like, you're not even supposed to think about. This is like off limit stuff. So, so, but the Beis HaMikdash is Baal Bala. That's, that's what the Nefesh Achai was saying, completely different. And I, I actually went. went a long time. I went through all of the uh, maybe a different mush. It's it's a good. It's a it's an almost, but it's not there yet. What he's saying here is that it's. I, I'll, um, I, I saw. Are these kofos and alamos part of creation? What do you mean? But there's three things. There's the shemayim. There's the creation, and then there's which which the adam is is in charge of, and then there's the base of So what is it replicating? The sun. We, just like there's an ocean, there's a kiyar. What's up to the Shemayim? Will creation, does that creation include everything, not only the Is that Shemayim as ours? It's talking about the, the Shemayim on the planet. <laughs> it's, not talking, it's not talking about the Shemayim. It's not. It's not. The Shemayim in Chumash. Gracious Bar Lakim is a Shemayim as ours. It's talking about the place, I, I believe, talking about the place where astronauts go. No gravity, yes gravity. Oh you're talking about the planet. Maybe the universe, but you're not talking about the Shemayim as we the way we're talking about this. Not a different dimension. It's this, it's this dimension. Right. I have no idea. <laughs> I also don't know what a supernal being being is. <laughs> there is more water in space than there is in uh, hmm? There is more water in space than there is in the Like you. There is. And there is. Yeah, yeah. sure. And asteroids and frozen uh, ice. Sure. Much more. The water though. Ice water. And therefore what? Mime and mime. Mime and mime. So funny. There could be mime and mime in space. What we're saying. No problem. Yeah. There is in fact more water. Right. Mm -hmm. We should build our building there, Danny. We won't have a problem with Meish Shemesh. <laughs> to give you a good example, I just happened to find this. But Daris Eliyahu, that's the Vilna Gaon, Parshas Dvar. 
it says that that um, Moshe Rabbeinu is, is involved in building the Mishkan. They have to build a menorah. And Moshe Rabbeinu, I can't, I, I can't build, I don't know how to build a menorah. Now, I'm saying, you, like if you go, I'm just, like if you go to a student at Pizzalo Art Scroll, he knows how to build a menorah. Like what's so hard? It's not, it's not even so complicated. It has seven branches, so it's easy, right? Uh, a kafter, a farach, we know what a farach is, and we know what a kafter is. So it has flowers, it has kafter, it has uh, givim, um, Mabaya. <laughs> like why, like, other things were more complicated if you asked me. But menorah, I mean, we all have a picture of a, of a menorah in our head. Okay, like, so, if Shailagi, that this was the first menorah, so they couldn't stop it. But still, uh, you know, Moshe Rabbeinu, right? And and Adkede Kachrashi brings us a Chobish, that Moshe Rabbeinu didn't know how to build a menorah. He said to I don't know how to build a menorah. So he says, okay, I'll show you a menorah. That was part. I'll, I'll mirror you down. I'll, I'll beam you down, Moshe. A, a menorah. Here's what a menorah looks like. Well, it's, uh, what's it says the guy. Just a, a glimpse of what we don't know. Yadua was the guy like Agav. A menorah who nun shari bina. The menorah represents nun shari bina. So there's, there's, um, there's only 50. When we were in Mitzrayim, we went Memtes Share Tuma. This is not something different, that's all the same thing. Um, so the Memtes Share Tuma is like, uh, imagine the way I'm always understanding, it's not like you're going down, 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 49 levels, or you're going up, 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 49 rungs of Yaakov's ladder. Uh, imagine it more like a, um, like a copper wire with 50 strands. <coughs> And these are um, these are these are connectivity from Tuakadosh Baruch Hu. The light is connected with a 50-strand wire. You knock one wire out, nothing happens. It's not it's not discernible. You knock 10 wires out, nothing. If you're down to the wire, the last wire, so um, you're very very fragile, very delicate. Maybe the light is flickering. So when we talk about that, Chai um, Memtes Share Tuma means that there were 50 levels of Nun Share Bina that, uh, that Avram Yitzhak and Yaakov established with their Bina of understanding HaKadosh Baruch Hu and being connected to HaKadosh Baruch Hu and one by one in Mitzrayim, snip, 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 snip. So um, they, they, the only thing we didn't do was snip the 50th. So we were still connected with one delicate, fragile strand Tarkadosh Baruch Hu, uh, the difference between our connection to Tarkadosh Baruch Hu and wires is that with our connection to Tarkadosh Baruch Hu, like organic, it can grow back. <coughs> so, so we can get back. Comes the Yemei Hasfira, we connect again. Chesed, Gura, Tiferes, Netzach, Choy, Yisoy, Malchus. We're connecting again. So we're connecting, we're, we're restoring the 50, the 50. Now, uh, eventually yesterday in Shul, that, that, um, it says 50 days, but we only count 49. <laughs> what, what happened? <laughs> what happened to the 50th? Cause, because we don't have a Muslim. 50th was, what, it says you count 50 days, so why are we counting 49? We count it. Because I like to do this. It says you should give person 40 makas, and give them 39. <laughs> Uh, it seems to be, you know, there's 40 balachas, yeah, 39 must be. <laughs> What's that? It says 50 days. Chavishim yog, tisperu, chavishim yog. We can't get more before us in the bus than that. Three months. And what do we do? 40 days. <laughs> so it's a, it's like a pellet. But the problem is, uh, I don't know the full answer to that, but at least part of the answer is that um, the, the 50th char is there, the 50th is there, but this is already Sarusa de Leila. This is not something, yes, there are 50 strands, but you're only going to be able to get to the 49th. You can't really be massing the 50th. And when we tried um, at a Harsinai, we backed off. So, apparently, even Moshe Rabbeinu um, was not massing the Shar Hanun. Do you understand this? I don't understand it. I'm just saying that, that, that it's. What? Why do you ask? No. No. Because the Sharon, I know the Ayin Loy Rosa, the Kim Zulosafa. So, 
So um, says the guy <laughs> who all this was Shitale. No longer. A menorah who nun shari bina. The menorah is your nun shari bina. You got to have all its sharim in the base of Mikdash because microcosm. So nun shari bina. Moshe Rabbeinu had no problem understanding how to put a kafter and a parach on a piece of gold. But he, what he had a hard understanding was the was the shvila de rakia. And how is this manifesting itself in this menorah? I'm stuck, he says to Hashem. I know how to make a menorah like everybody else knows how to make a menorah. And, and Batala was Bale, Ruach, Chachma, Bina, Das, and all that. But but the menorah, Nun, Shari, Bina, how in the world am I supposed to make a menorah? It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't something you learn in art school. Yeah. So, the, the menorah, the menorah has Chaf Bez Givian, has 22 cups. Yud Aleph Kavtarim, 11 buttons, Tes Prochim, 9 flowers, right, you have the Arei Membeis, Keneged Shem Membeis. That's the Anabachayach, is the Shem HaMembeis, the 42 letter name of a Baruch, which describes a lot. Um, if you look at the little letters next to the Anabachayach, every night by Sferis Omer, you have Aleph Beis, Gimel Tav, Anabachayach, the Dulas. Um, so that's 42. We've got to the shape. Okay, okay. I can understand the 42 letter name of Hashem. Zayin Kanim. Now there's seven Kanim. Hare Memtes. So we got up to 49, says the guy. These are the Memtes Shari Bina. Moshe Rabbeinu, if you look at the Lushan of Chazal, Lehevin Ez Gufa Menoira. The part he couldn't understand was the Gufa Menoira. Gufa Menoira, who shar hanun. Vizeh, shiniskasha b'moisha. A throw away from the gun. Hosher <laughs> Abedo had no problem understanding menorahs. He got a menorah, he said menorahs. Yeah, but but what, what, he, what he couldn't, and he could even understand the kafter and the ferach and the gavim and the, and the and he could understand all of that. But what about the Shar Hanun, which is the Gufa Menorah, by the way? This is the part that he couldn't understand, the, the, the middle... Um, branch. It's not a branch. No, no, the, right. Trunk. No, but think about it, because the branches, I can understand branches. That's the outcome. Base. The trunk. Base. Baruch Hu. The Nun Shar Bina, the understanding. He, and, and, and Moshe Rabbeinu says, in, the, in that, in that Leo brings, Moshe Rabbeinu says, HaKadosh Baruch I begged you. Hareni Nas Kivayt Says the Ernest of Benuziel, Shuhu Shar Hanun. I begged you, and you wouldn't show me. But you're Adam, Bachai. Now you want me to make a menorah? How am I supposed to make a menorah? Okay, I'll show you the menorah. He's showing him the menorah. Mirror, boom, beamed into his screen. Messech Hamabdil. Reared into his screen. And here he, here he sees the menorah. This is the, 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 the kasha. So the, the, um, the, the chiddush here is, see, I don't, I don't, um, the Gemara says, I'm just thinking, the Gemara says that uh, Shmuel, the Bavel, right? so he understood the Shvila de Rakia to Shvila de Nardo. He was much of a bucky in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the ways of the Shemayim, ways, Z, of Shemayim, with as, as he was in the Shavili Dinar. You know how to get around in Shemayim. Now, apparently, okay, so he knew many of the, how, what, how he knew, how he had this Gibli, so the guy knew. Um, there, there was this Indian of understanding the road works of Shemayim. Rup Tzadik says so beautifully, Tzadik Akkarin says, uh, he says, I can understand that Shmuel understood and toiled and worked on understanding the Shvila de Rikia, all the different uh, roads and intricacies of the Shemayim. Well, wh why did he know the Shvila de Nardo? <laughs> why did he have to, where did he have to go in Nardo? Did he have to know all the different ways? But he knew the Shemayim like he knew the Shvila de Nardo. 
so it's a, it's a wonderful costume. Like you know, like there's a Himmel mensch. So Rapsodic brings a proof from here that you also have to know the Shvila to Rakita. You also have to know how to get along in this world and how to get through and get around from place to place in this world. But if you had this great ways in Shamayim, which is taking you everywhere, it would be fascinating. But we, we put it we put it into the um, none of our business too hard pile what's going on in the Shemai. But here you see that the, the and, and with this I'll, I'll, I'll end for today and then we'll go further into it, that we see that the Beis Hamikdash Shemata, when you're looking at it, don't look at it any longer as just a place to connect with HaKadosh Baruch or an inspiring place to connect. Um, it's Kukol Asher Animaro Bahar. it is the mirror of the entire, if you knew how to look at the Beis Hamikdash uh, correctly, you would see all the Oyelamois, El Yarnim, you would see all of the Sidre Kedusha, you would see everything. You would see the Nun Shari Bina, all in that one place. And, um, and why? What would be, what's the advantage? Apparently this is, um, first of all, first of all, the, 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 the Hashem created the world. I don't know why, I don't know, but when Hashem created the world, a new thing, the world is an image, a mirror image of that which is going on in Shemaim. And everything has a, a makbil. Everything has a makbil. So it's not just that it affects it somehow magically, it's, it's, it's it. It is it. It is it. it, it it's not that.